exponential 2s cos 4s dx. How do we integrate this type of question? What you do is, let's see shortcut of, or we can use to integrate. You say, integrate exponential a x cos b x dx, where a equal to 2, b equal to 4. Let's see how we can integrate the original aspect of it, 4. So, let's see. We use the tab uh, tabular method to do it. In tabular method, we put here cos bx and put here exponential ax. So how do we do it? This means differentiation. Why this means integration? That is for tabular method. Now, differentiate this, you will be having minus b sine bx minus b sine bx that if you share bs you have b then the shared cos minus sine bs now differentiate this uh, integrate this because i have i here integrate this you'll be having one over a exponential ax now we come again differentiate this we have minus b. Differentiate bx, it will give you b. Then differentiate sine, it will give you cos bx. Okay? Then integrate this, it will be giving you. Differentiate this, we have minus b. Differentiate bx times b. If you differentiate bx, you have b. Then the shell sign we have cos bx. Then integrate this, you will be having 1 over a square exponential ax. We are trying to derive shortcut. Then we have arrived at exponential cos bs, exponential cos bs. So we stop here. We say this goes to this, then this goes to this. This goes to this, then this goes to this. After you multiply it. Now, so what we do? We call everything here to be i. We say integrate i. Integrate i equals to this times this. You will be having exponential a s cos b x all over a. Then here must be plus. Once you assign this to this, assign this to this, say plus, minus, plus. This signs you are putting is constant. Plus, minus, plus. If you continue, you continue putting minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. So because it is a trace, say plus, minus, plus. They are constant. So then you say this times this, it will give you exponential a s cos b s over a. Minus times minus plus. So plus b sine b s times this. That will be giving you exponential a x all over exponential a x all over a squared then b sine b x. Then you multiply these two. If you multiply this to plus times minus minus. If you multiply these two, it will be giving you minus minus b times b, b squared, b squared, then cos bx exponential ax all over a squared. So this whole of this times this will give you this. Okay? Then what you now do is, you now say, here, I can see this I here. This thing I call I. I can see it here. I say here is also I. Okay? Then what I will now do is I say, carry this to the other side. I will have integration I. I will have integration I plus, or as this comes to the other side, I will say plus integration b square cos bx cos i because we say let everything be i 
ok? A over A squared equals to everything here exponential AX cos BX all over A plus exponential AX B sine BX all over A squared. So what you do now is you factorize. You'll be having integration I because they have it in common bracket 1 plus B squared over A squared. Then that will be giving you the whole of this. Exponential AX cos BX all over A plus exponential AS B sine BX all over A squared. Now, looking for LCM of this, the whole of this is the same thing as you writing this way. A squared plus B squared. If you look for LCM, so, you now say integration I will be equal to. Then, if you carry this if you carry this to the other side, you will be having only integration i. You now say this will be giving you exponential a x cos b x all over a plus exponential a x b sine b x all over a squared. Then see what we now do. We now say. Taking this to the other side, it will divide everything. That will be giving you, here we will be having integration i is equal to exponential ax cos bx all over a divided by a squared plus b squared all over a squared. Then you now say plus plus integration a x b sine b x all over a squared divided by a squared plus b squared all over a squared. So, having gotten this, remember that whenever you have division and you are to remove it, to replace it with multiplication, you'll be having cos bx all over a times, I will invert this, a squared all over a squared plus b squared, then plus, I will now say, Exponential AX B sine BX all over A change division to times A squared all over A squared plus B squared. So what we have is that this we cancel only one A while here this we cancel this is over a squared, please. A squared. So, we now have it that this, we cancel this. Then, this, we cancel this, leaving you with 1A. So, in conclusion, you will be having that this means we have here to be A we have that to be integration i equals to equals to a times everything a cos bx all over a squared plus b squared plus plus b exponential ax sine bx all over a squared plus b squared. 
So that is what we have here because this B is here. So we give you. Then finally, what is our I? Our I is exponential AX cos BX. We are replacing everything. Now you factorize. We have exponential AS in common bracket A. So we have a exponential AS, exponential AS, A squared plus B squared. So A squared plus B squared. Then A cos BX plus B sine BX. So that is a, that is the shortcut we will use to solve this question. Now let's see how we solve it. To solve this question we have, we say integration exponential 2s plus 4x. We say our a is equal to 2 and our b equal to 4. We use this shortcut. That will be exponential. What is my a? 2s all over. What is my a square? A square is 4. 4 square is uh, 2 square plus 4 square. 2 square, 4. 4 square is 16. 4 plus 16, 20. I'll be writing 20. Bracket. What is my a? 2 cos. What is my b? 4x. Plus what is my b? 4 sine 4x. Then I'll say plus c. Remember, why we say plus c is because they did not give us upper and lower limits. So that is how to integrate this. Look at the shortcut we derived, then, and look at how to apply it. See the next video so that you see the next question we solve on this with respect to sign. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video as you watch it.